so-called venture? Henry Allen Adventure, or better known to us, Hank Venture, is absolutely one of my favourite characters that this show has to offer. And I want to go into a bit more detail about him and his amazing character development. Because this show is so well written, as I'm sure you're all aware by now. And I want to talk about it more. So, let's get into it. Hank was introduced into the show as the older, dumber, toe-headed venture brother. Dean is a super scientist like his father, and Hank's just some idiot boy adventurer. And I thought I was supposed to be the smart one. My adventure didn't raise no fools. We, we don't have a mom, Hank. But, also in his first introduction, we get the first reference of the venture's mother, which is going to be the biggest payoff of this movie. I mean, we've been waiting actually 18 years for this sort of information at this point, and that's kind of just way too long. But hopefully we'll see the bat meet his mother, Bobby St. Simone. But we've seen Hank develop a lot from his toe-headed idiot brother. What was my mom's name? It's Bobby St. Simone, and you have to grow the heck up! In season seven, we see Hank venture through a blizzard all on his own we with me luck <laughs> never know when you're messing with me see uh, him discover the awful truth behind what his brother and serena are doing and <gasps> hank it's not what you think we see hank really just discover himself his creative attributes his ability to basically do whatever he wants when he sets his mind to it but Hank's not just grown. Hank's intelligence isn't the only aspect of his character that's grown over the years, especially his combat prowess. In season one and two, the boys didn't have any particular skills with combat, but we one shot at this. You can do it, Duffy Moon. What the fuck? Oh, you... As the seasons went on, Dean never really developed, but Hank went but Hank is trained by the legendary Brock Samson, and we see in season four him acing all of the OSI's trials, or Sphinx at the time. Come on, give me a hard one. Hank's becoming a badass. In season five, the military rejects him. So what does Hank do? Whooshoo! Hank becomes the bat. Abide in the tummy. Ah! Inspired by his comic book hero, Hank becomes a vigilante of his own, and he takes out a significant number of scientific abominations. This is no longer some amateur playing dress-up. This is a real, proper superhero. And in season 7, we see Hank embracing that as the final shot before this movie is Hank truly becoming the Bat. I'll find myself, even if I have to look in myself. It's time I grow up. Call me the Bat. We also see a lot more characteristics of Brock develop in Hank throughout the season. Rusty is obviously no ladies man, but Hank considers himself one. Hey, hip cat. Mind if I sit one in? Because of Brock, his great inspiration, and as such, um, but he has been able to develop very well into the sort of suave and legal Motessa ladies' man. Two ladies, hanked side by side. Between them is me, Enrico Matassa. They are fighting over the affections of Enrico Matassa, I think. But this one on the left, she is the husband. He is not Hank at all. He's so unhank that he wants to fight Enrico Matassa. 
But Enrico Matassa is very Hank. He is double Hank! And that's also something else we see with Hank that's probably related to some kind of trauma for being cloned uh, 20 plus times. And Hank definitely seems to be developing uh, an overactive imagination, potentially some personality issues. And well, he definitely has ADHD. And Hank has experience as a superhero already. We. Totally forgot it was a strength suit. All right, get. Seen him in a strength suit kicking butt. If he gets hold of one of Ventec's new inventions, what's to say he doesn't become a real full on OSI licensed superhero? Maybe he can outdo his father, become better than super science, become a superhero of his own, his own Batman. Out of your allowance, and I am still not bleeding. Ah, hot damn, Petita! Yeah, hit me! Oh my god! I, I am so sorry. Don't hold your bogeys on your ten and two. Take them out. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Um, I think I might make a couple more of these sort of character dives. If you want to see more, give me some comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe, uh, other things you're supposed to say at the end of a YouTube video. Peace!